Most of us uh, think that bias is a bad thing. We've heard that so many times, you know, and if you ask people, I ask audiences sometimes how many people think, think that bias equals badness and 80% of the hands get raised. But the reality is bias is simply a function of the mind. I mean, it's, uh, it's the way we make decisions. We, we see something, we make a quick assessment of what that thing is based on previous experience, of course, because what else could we possibly base it on? And then we act in accordance with that. So we might say in a very simple form, the function of the mind could show up as something as simple as walking across your living room floor. You know, you, you know that your living room floor supports you, so you don't have to think about it. You walk quickly across the floor. But if, if folks who are listening now could imagine that one time recently you had stepped on a place in the floor and fallen through to the basement, then each step of the floor subsequently to that would be a tentative step. You'd have to stop and check it out. And similarly, if we had to make decisions about every new thing in life or every new person in life, um, it would slow our processing down so slowly that we couldn't really get anything done. Now, the problem with that, of course, is that those kinds of quick decisions aren't always good decisions. Sometimes they can be, as we know, uh, disastrous and tragic as when a police officer pulls a trigger too quickly because somebody looks more dangerous than they actually are. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they could be life-saving when we react quickly to a threat that's coming our way and are ready to respond to it. So, you know, what we discovered in doing the work is that rather than trying to make biases stop, which is which is almost impossible. It's like getting us to stop breathing because they're so essential to our survival. Instead, what we do is learn to manage them, to learn to mitigate the impact of them and be more aware of how they're affecting us.